what's going on everybody it's your boy air dan airways dan the man and we're here just chilling in the undertaker collection and this is an undertaker action figure that i've been looking forward to for a long time because this is where i really 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 started getting into wrestling was when undertaker had just won the wwe championship at wrestlemania 13 and this is exactly what he looked like the next night on Monday Night Raw. And now I can recreate it in stop motion. But let's go ahead and unbox it. By the way, let's just uh, talk about how I pre-ordered this from Target months and months ago. And I still haven't received the ones that I ordered from Target. And then I go to Target and I see them on the shelf on like clearance or sale. Darn it tore the box so they're on sale and I'm like well what about the ones I ordered like it doesn't make sense like if you pre-order something safety first by the way if you pre-order something you should get it before it's on the store shelf right am I wrong for thinking that way like I don't get it like I really don't you pre-order something why is it on the store shelf and on sale before you ever you ever even get it sometimes target just makes me a little like annoyed with their pre-orders i mean i don't get it like you know you have these things somewhere and i know they're just toys or whatever why is this so hard to get out of there so Let's just take a uh, read the back of the box here. So, the Undertaker is this is probably not even focused because I'm on cinematic mode because I just can't stop using it because I'm I don't know, right? This is what we do when you get a new camera, you just use the features even if they're not working right. I'm probably never mind. So on the back here, it says 1997 was the year of The Undertaker. After freeing himself from Paul Bearer's control, the Lord of Darkness set forth on his own path, a path that led to the road to WrestleMania 13. There, the dead man buried Psycho Sid to become the WWE Champion and usher in the dark days of WWE. This is like one of my favorite figures because 1997 was like year of the undertaker that was the year we got introduced to the kane storyline undertaker had so many like main event matches in 97 he was in the main event at wrestlemania 13 was he in the main event of revenge of the taker or was it brett and austin i i forget but the next pay-per-view cold day in hell main event king of the ring main event he wasn't in the main event for the international, the July pay-per-view that year. SummerSlam, he was the main event with Brett. At Ground Zero, he was the main event with Sean. And then at Bad Blood, he was the main event at Hell in a, with the Hell in a Cell match. And on top of that, he was WWE champion for most of this time. Or WWF champion. You know... So this is literally like one of those figures that if you're an Undertaker fan, you need to have this. So this is a 10 out of 10 on my on my Dave Meltzer scale of rating action figures. This is a, a 10 star action figure. Okay. And uh, yeah, check this out. We're letting this figure breathe, you know. Because Matt Cardona told us to do that. Like, dude, I just broke his arm. I'm just kidding. So he's got the uh, hat accessory that he literally wore that one time on Monday Night Raw to give the, the dark days of the World Wrestling Federation creatures. Yo, he needs a WWE championship and he'll be complete. He's also got a change of hands there just for, uh, 
probably just leave in the box for now because they're like the same ones they're not actually the same glove style that he wore back then because he didn't start wearing those mma style gloves until he was biker undertaker So, again, I give this a 10 out of 10. This is, like, probably one of my all-time favorite figures based on, like, the style that it's uh, modeled after. Undertaker was the man in 1997. He was the man throughout his whole career, but 97 was a great year for the Undertaker. And this is a great action figure. It's got the entrance coat. I wonder if the the shirt is the same as all the other shirts they've been giving us. Oh, they changed the shirt to the actual. Because there's a, the figures, the other figures that we've been getting with the similar style have just been with this style shirt. In that pattern. Actually, no, I'm wrong because there are some basics up there that have um, different designs. But it's cool that Mattel puts that detail into it because for some reason, when you collect stuff and you're detail oriented like that, it matters. So thank you, Mattel, for doing your job this time. But I won't forget about the retro four pack that I just got. No, I won't. I don't like it. Stop doing it. But for those of you who have come to this channel, I appreciate your time. Thank you very much, and I'll see you later.